Well, we're back on the terrace, and the fast town story is quite an interesting story. Thank you. I and think it is too. It is. So, and I want to just dive a little bit deeper in, well, you, and then like, but let's let's start at the beginning. Like, can you introduce yourself to the people that don't know you? Sure. Um, I'm Cassie Steckowitz. I am director of operations at Far Sounder. Uh, we manufacture and develop forward-looking sonar systems for navigation, and that's where. That's who I am, and I originally started at Far Sounder almost eight years ago, mm -hmm. and I started in the marketing realm, and now since our last CEO, Cheryl, retired, I have taken on some other responsibilities and, and moved to Director of Operations with Matthew, who our, our new CEO is. So. Yeah, because Matthew is Cheryl's son, right? Yes. Yeah. So it, it is kind of like Far Sounder's got this family view to it. Yes, it does. Is that how you experience it as well? Yes. So I actually, I started at Fire Sounder. I was Matthew's neighbor. So I was in the travel industry, traveling globally for mall contracting, tour development type of things, uh, and in, in the marketing side as well uh, for a major tour operator. And then he lived right next door to me and we used to see each other socially. And yeah. then he brought up that there was availability to work at his company and his, through his passion and his excitement about his company really drew me in. And I started working for him again about eight years ago and then never looked back since. I mean, I know Cheryl met you very well. And they're like, they're special people. They are. They're definitely. very special. I mean, because what I like about it, it's not just a product, which is probably an amazing product. I'm not enough of an expert to decide on that. But they actually care about the industry. They care about the sea, don't they? Like, they do. And you do, them yes. probably as well. Yes. And I think that, and I think that's so interesting because you came from the travel industry yes. into, well, which is also a luxury travel industry. If you look yes. at it from that perspective, what's the main difference between those two worlds? Like I say, I'd rather probably mention the similarities where you know there's a lot of overlapping. We are also concerned about sustainability yeah. in the travel industry as much as the yachting industry is, as make, making sure you do no harm, even though you do want to go to those out of the way places and see interesting things and be a part of the culture. You don't want to uh, do anything negative. It just wants to be a positive experience. So, I, you know, that in my, with my background of just wanting to just get out there and see the world, you know, I think that's a lot of the yachting industry feels the same way. They just want to go out and see the world and be a part of it in a, in a big way and, and also at the same time be a part of the solution, not the problem, you know. Yeah, well, that's true because I do think the industry cares, really is, cares. And like, and that brings a little bit to the solution that you guys have because in a way, what you do is helps yeah. as well, right? Oh yeah, totally, yeah. So we are focused on, we were actually founded on the premise that we don't want to, we don't want vessels, sea vessels hit things into the water, including whale strikes, groundings, causing oil spills and things. So we, part of who we are and where we develop towards is that premise that we want to help prevent any accidents and we also are trying to find new ways to help yeah. so we are we have developed a a way for our customers to upload their data that they collect every day to the cloud and they're able to download that information to and, and donate it to seabed 2030 exactly yeah because that's what I wanted to go to, I wow. go to CBIT 2030, 2030, because that's like a fantastic initiative. Do you want to yeah. explain shortly what it is? Yeah, it's an initiative to map the seabed by the year 2030, and they're doing it through citizen science and donations and of seabed information uh, in any way at all to gather it. So they've really brought the community together, not just the yachting community, but the mariners in general. Yeah to come together to give the data and to try to make a difference because hydrographic companies can only do so much, yes, you know, correct. and when you're out there anyway, why not donate what you're doing as well, well it, it and is, what you're gathering. It, it is sharing data, there's no privacy involved, etc. It's like, it's raw data that you Oh yeah, there. it's totally anonymous and yeah, no one would ever know where the data came from. So yeah, it's just a way, um, it's just to donate 
just blindly donate and not have to worry about you know anyone knowing where you are or anything. So it's no concern for the yachting industry. Like, no, and I think yeah. like a, this, how many vessels are participating already through you guys in season? I don't know the number. I'm not privy to the actual number, but there's a, a fair amount of our industry. So we've rolled it, rolled it out to all of our customers now, yeah. and those who have updated their software ha are, are donating now. So I don't know how, the exact number. No, but. Yeah. Enough. Enough, yeah. Enough, and that's yeah. nice. I, I think it's a great initiative. I mean, and it's something that like that shows that. I mean, we need to care about this industry. We live off the sea, so we need to look after the sea, don't we? Yes, totally. And our latest software release. I mean, I'm changing the subject a little bit, but yeah, go for it. whales. Yeah. So our systems can see whales. So when our customers, so that's kind of part of it as well. So when our customers can see them, they can now hit a button that will pop up on the screen okay. that can say, I saw a whale. And then okay. that data can also be uploaded to a cloud and sent to interested endpoints. So you can basically track where the whale population is. So points. yeah, if you're one of the crew members sees a whale, they can log it yeah. and we can send it to the scientific community so that they know where the whales are That's going. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. And what was the reason behind building it in the software again? Again, it's, it's our motivation to make the it safer to the marine environment safer yeah. and to help in citizen science whenever we can and, and to donate to causes that are pro help protecting whales, protecting the environment in general. So, and we want to help our customers be a part of that. We feel like they do want to be a part of that, so. Well, I think those are the best final words to this interview, that the customers want to be a part of that, you guys want to be a part of that. Thank you so much, Cassie. Thank you. It was you. great talking to you. Thank you, Ono, I really appreciate cool. the opportunity. Fantastic. <laughs> hey. Thank you.